Kim for Mark tonight. I'm Adela Rakawa. The comments came during two separate debates, one on Monday, the other earlier today. On a bill that would extend health care benefits to the partners of gay and lesbian state workers, State Senator Scott Renfro quoted the Bible while the bill was being discussed, calling homosexuality a sin. The other comment by State, state Senator Dave Schulteis was regarding a bill that would require pregnant women to be tested for HIV. Nine News reporter Anastasia Bolton joins us from the state capitol. Anastasia, both men defend their comments. Both do. Scott Renfro says, though, Adele, that he could have been more eloquent. Critics say that the comments were both offensive and very upsetting. This is Republican Senator Scott Renfro on the bill dealing with extending health benefits to the partners of gay and lesbian state workers. And I'm not saying that this is the only sin that's out there. Obviously, we have sin, we have murder, we have, we have, um, we have all sorts of sin. We have adultery. And we don't make laws making those legal, and we would never think to make murder, murder legal. But what I'm saying that for is that all sin is equal. Here is Republican Senator Dave Schulteis when he opposed the bill requiring pregnant women to be tested for HIV so that if they're infected, their babies can be treated. I am not convinced that the part of the role of government should be to protect individuals from the negative consequences of their, of their actions. Sexual promiscuity, we know, causes a lot of problems uh, in our state, one of which obviously is the contraction of uh, HIV. Both statements brought criticism from politicians and activists. They were very hurtful to a lot of people, um, particularly when you talk about uh, thinking that it was okay for a woman who would be who might be infected with HIV to give birth to a child who would have AIDS when they were born um, that was I thought appalling it was shocking that he actually was so explicit in equating uh, homosexuality with murder both men defend their beliefs I believe what I said was the truth on the Senate floor I could have said it probably a little more clear um, what I meant to say is basically that all sin is the same in God's eyes and no matter what sin you commit. I don't believe it's government's role to shield individuals from the consequences of their poor behavior. Senate Minority Leader Josh Penry gave Nine News this statement. He said, I am a proud conservative with traditional beliefs on issues like marriage, adding it's essential that elected leaders don't lose sight of the fundamental humanity and dignity of people who see the world and these issues differently. And if you're interested in hearing what the senators said in, it, in, in its entirety, that audio is on 9news.com. Adele. Anastasia Bolton at the state capitol. Thank you, Anastasia.